Tonight is June the 30th, 2015, and uh, I think I would like to show you, in case you're not familiar with it, how to build a holding relay circuit. Something very, very nice to uh, know about if you haven't thought about it. First of all, here's a very simple relay. This is a 48 volt coil. Uh, show you how they work. This right here, the, the moving part is called the, the common. And this one up here where it's touching was well, just in its non-install state. This is called the normally closed contact. This is called the normally open NC and NO. And then of course when the coil is energized, uh, it changes state right there. This one's got four sets of contacts on it. Each contact is a single pole double throw. But it's got four of them, so it's got four poles double throw. Double throw means it's got two positions that it can operate in. It's got four poles. But let me show you just how simple. I'm going to draw it so you'll see it happen. And j just show you how simple and effective uh, a holding relay circuit can be. You've got your AC coming in. This is one of the contacts of the relay. This would be the... The, the common one. This would be the normally closed one. This would be the normally open one. So far so good. That's easy enough. Huh? And then right here we come off. This is the relay coil. This is the same the same device. Well down here we're going to get into that in a minute. What this is and then this is the neutral. So this is our uh, ACN, ACN, and this is our uh, AC out. Well, how do you get this thing to power up? Well, you put a little switch across it, across this contact. A little push button switch would work. This would be a normally open switch so that when you push down on this switch it's going to effectively well it's going to you know be like this contact is closing and of course then current's gonna be flowing through and pick up the coil and then it'll hold itself well, down here you can put just whatever your imagination uh, can come up with. You could put something as simple as a switch across it. This one would be normally closed. These contacts right here. This would be a normally closed contact so that when you push it, then it opens up this circuit. This drops out and it shuts off. Or you can put, in my case, what I've done here in the shop is I've put a thermostat in right here. So that if it gets too hot in my shop, it shuts off. It, it, sh it shuts off everything out here, which is where I have all of my equipment. It keeps you from burning up your equipment. It also has a really interesting other effect, which was n certainly not designed into it. But in the case of whatever this out here, whatever you have out here on some power strips or whatever, if, if you short something out here, I have had this thing save me so many times that the voltage will drop in case you're, especially if you're using a big relay with, with, a, with a, you know, a good bit of holding current, like this one right here that I was just showing you. If you're using a big guy like this, what will happen, in many cases it has happened to me, is when you short something out here momentarily, the voltage will drop just long enough, click, that it'll just drop out and it won't even blow a fuse. So it, it has some, it has a, a, an additional uh, good characteristic that you might like. They're really easy to build. It, it's just limited by your imagination, like I said, what you want to put down here. You could have a switch that uh, would open it up. Well, you'd have to put, if you put more than one thing, you'd have to start putting them in series instead of parallel. But you could put an emergency off switch, you could put a thermostat, whatever you want. Think about it. Now, 
let me show you something else about a relay that you may not be aware of. This relay right here, if my if my camera will focus really good, you see the top of the coil, the the, the center uh, core of that coil. Well, it's just round. This is a DC relay. If you look straight down onto the top of a relay, if the top of it is just simply round, it's a DC relay. If it's an AC relay, it'll have like a little E-shaped thing in it that looks like this, that goes through that coil. I'm not a very good artist, but the DC coil won't have the E in it, and the AC coil will. Now you can use AC coils on DC, and I have found out over the years that they work great on about half voltage. So a, for example, a 48 volt AC relay will work really good on 24 volts DC. It really works, and it won't buzz. Now you can't use the DC relay, the one without the little E in it. You can't use this on AC, or it'll just buzz. It, it won't work. It'll buzz really bad. So there you go. This is an AC, AC type which can be used on AC and DC. Half the DC voltage of the AC rating and then this is the DC relay type. I hope this helps. I hope it allows you to build something that saves your equipment from over temp. Like that thermostat there, it, it's only limited by your imagination.